Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how we can draw a pie chart from a given set of data. The first task when we're going to draw a pie chart is to work out how many people took part in this survey. So I'm going to add up the frequency column here. When I add these together I get a total amount of 30 people who took part. Then I need to work out how many degrees I'm going to draw from my pie chart per person. There's 360 degrees in a circle, and I need to share those 360 degrees out with those 30 people. So I need to do 360 divided by 30. 360 divided by 30 gives me 12. So I know that it's 12 degrees per person. So for each person who took part in this survey, they're going to be worth 12 degrees in my pie chart. Sometimes in exam questions they'll give you an extra column next to your frequency table to draw your degrees. Sometimes you'll have to draw it in yourself. We're going to end up filling out this degrees column. Now because I said it's 12 degrees per person, if there's 6 people I need to times 6 by 12 to get my degrees here. I also need to times 4 by 12, I need to times 9 by 12, so I'm multiplying everything, all of my frequencies, by how many degrees it is per person. And then when I work these out, 6 times 12 is 72, 4 times 12 is 48, 9 times 12 is 108, 7 times 12 is 84, and then 4 times 8 is 48. I've now got all the information I need to draw my pie chart, but before I go ahead and draw my pie chart, I'm going to show you a way that we can check that we are along the right lines so that we don't make any mistakes. If I added up all of the degrees here, the degrees in a whole circle is going to be 360. So if I add all these together, they should add to 360. If they don't, when you're doing an example of your own, then you've done something wrong. So if I add these up, I get 10, 18, 19, 20, 22, 30. 7, 11, 6, and then 360. So they've added together to make 360, so I know that I'm along the right lines. Now I'm going to use this table and show you how to draw a pie chart from it. So over in the top corner there, I've just drawn a little version of the table that we had earlier, and I've already drawn my circle with my centre point. The very first step is to draw a line on my pie chart to start off my first section. So I'm going to draw it from the centre to the edge, I'm going to go straight up, so it looks like that to begin with. The first one I'm going to draw is science, and that's 72 degrees. My protractor, I'm going to place the crosshair on the centre of my circle, and I'm going to make sure that this line is lined up with the bottom line on my protractor. So it looks something like this. Now this is a mistake that quite a lot of people make about what scale to use, whether you're going to use inside scale or the outside scale. My line here starts across here, and I always, always want to start from zero. And you can see on the outside scale that zero starts here, so I'm going to use the outside scale. My first degree is 72, so I'm going to come around on the outside scale make a mark at 72 and then I can use the straight edge of my protractor to draw my first section of my pie chart like so. I would suggest that as you go along to label each part so that when you've finished it's all labelled already for you. So this one was science and that was 72 degrees. Now the next one I need to draw is PE, which is 48. On the new line that I drew just then, I'm going to put my protractor on that line this time, making sure that the crosshair lines up with the dot, and that the line at the bottom lines up with my new line. And then this time, I'm going to use the outside scale again, come round to 48 and make a mark. And then I can join those up, and again label it as we're going along. That was 48 degrees. 
and then the next one is mass 108 degrees I'm going to use my new line again crosshair lined up with the center bottom line lined up with my new line I drew and then this time I'm using the outside scale and I'm going to come around to 108 and make a mark and then I can join or draw a new line there and then again label it as we go and then I'm going to use my new line again to draw my next section of my pie chart crosshair lined up with the middle bottom line lined up with my new line I'm going to use the outside scale again because it starts at zero where my line starts and this time it's history and that's 48 degrees come around to 48 and make a mark just there and then label it as we go again so that's 48 degrees and that was history this last one here it's already done for us if we measure it it should be pretty close to 84 degrees so I'm going to put my protractor on my new line I just drew make sure the crosshair is lined up with the dot and the bottom line is lined up with the bottom line on my protractor and if I measure that it's about 82 I would say that is so it's close to being 84 you're allowed a little bit of error between so I'm happy with that being we can label that as 84 degrees and that was English and then I've used that data to draw a perfect pie chart I've labeled it it's got the degrees on there you can have it looking slightly differently if you didn't have labels you would then have to have a key down the side when you've colored it in but a pie chart that looks like this is classed as a perfect pie chart thank you for watching